we go to bed, we can try to put an alarm to this conscious mind and switch on this alarm to contemplate this thought of awareness. Okay. Awareness of body, mind, and intellect, awareness of people. We can switch on that and then go to the bed. Then you say we work in, uh, in the subconscious or subconscious. That's the beauty of the mind that God has created because he is eternally there and he will take care of that when you hand over to the Lord who is all the who is there in all the three states, the waking state, sleeping and dream state, or the Jagras So transformation of his body, mind and intellect at the conscious mind level, subconscious mind level and the it's a multi-level process evoking our cognition, emotionality, spirituality, and of course the physical. So, use of multi-sensory methodologies reflects the human sensitivity, the individual sensitivity, the other sensitivity to the reality that meaningful change is not a subject of mind. So, this is very, 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 very important. We many times think that uh, awareness of change is on the superficial level, or surface level, or uh, external level. That's no good. The awareness of change the, at the body level, at the mind level, at the intellect level, plus at the conscious mind level, at the subconscious level, or at the unconscious level, deep down within in yourself should be the awareness of change. Therefore, truly the great man dwells, the great prophet dwells on what is real and not if we want to say not on the proof, not on the say, we always dwell on always on the fruit without putting in proper actions with awareness, with dedication, sincerity. The great masters, they are aware of the various stages from the seed to the plant to the flower to the fruit, but they don't claim anything on all these things. They surrender and offer to the Lord because it is by His grace that comes from the Lord. So the successful change requires that we have access to a warm birthright of the human resources, those aspects of our being that make it possible for all humans to grow, change, learn and heal with the awareness of the body, mind, intellect, ego, awareness of change, awareness of love, ultimately absolute awareness of the self. That's the beauty of awareness. Let us be very clear that the change is a natural phenomenon. The only real certainty in life is change. The uncertainty of the certainty is change. Jayate Kachati is the jagat. The one which continuously, dynamically changes the world. With all these concepts and the principles or the definitions in all the languages which we know or which we don't know. Because it's a natural phenomenon that every individual sees whether he knows that particular language or not, whether his mother tongue is different or not. The whole phenomenon is everybody is experiencing it every moment. So, having experience, 
Let us try to accept this particular change which is happening in this universe right from the animate to inanimate things, right from the atom to the macro level of uh, planet, right from the subtle element to the cross element. Everywhere, every moment, the change is happening. It all depends upon how we are aware of this change and how we accept this change. So whether it is a good change or a bad change, whether it is positive or whether it is negative, whether it is to our benefit or to our uh, loss, whether it is to the joy or sorrow, whatever it is, there is a change, there is a positive cycle and a negative cycle. There is always a potential difference between one uh, level to another level, so there, then only there will be a flow of water or electricity or atoms or whatever it is. So, the change is a natural phenomenon we have to accept and this awareness in the conscious mind of the change if we start uh, contemplating and disciplining our mind to start with in the process and go from the conscious mind to the subconscious mind and from the subconscious mind, naturally it goes to the unconscious mind. There by it dwells, it feeds, in harmony, in synchronism, in the same wavelength, and gets merged into the sense of awareness, of the effulgence of light of awareness, where the Lord dwells, by his grace, whatever has been inspired by him at this moment, it has been spoken out by this instrument, the physical body, mind and intellect. Sometimes with ego, maybe many times also with ego or without ego, only God knows. So, as it is said in this uh, very chapter, awareness of change, some words are spoken by this body, mind and intellect, with ego or without ego. So, this body, mind and intellect is not in a position to judge and has not reached that state, a great prophet. Of the great saint. So since uh, that absolute awareness has not been reached by this uh, body, mind and intellect, I humbly submit to the Lord Jagat Guru and to all the readers and listeners and I also submit my ignorance and innocence to the Lord and plead with him to forgive me for all my known or unknown mistakes or egotism. With this, I would like to conclude this uh, chapter by surrendering to God and dedicating to God with this local from Bhagavad Gita. Sarva Dharma Parikshya Mami Kam Sharanam Praja Aham Pa Sarva Pati Yushu Mokshan Shyama. God asks us to surrender all the Dharma because we don't know what we are doing. Dharma and Dharma. And so, it is being surrendered to the body, mind and intellect to the Lord and being given to the Lord. That's true. What he thinks is the right here for yoga function. As it goes in the sloka, Ananya, Sintayan, Soma, Ejana, Satipasati, Desham, Nitya, Nitya, Yoga, Vishayana, He knows what is the yoga.
And last but not the least, this particular stuff I would like to carry it out with the micro-sindrome. Kāhīn vāca manasendriya ilvā buddhya asmanāvā Prakṛte svapāvā karomi yajyat patalam parasmai Nārāyanā yeti samatpaya Arivom tatta, arivom tatta, arivom tatta Om shāma